EA Sports. It's in the game. Alrighty, shifting gears to college football. Here we go. Big game in the ACC. Miami's lost a couple of games in a row. Do we have any injuries? Let's take a look. They do. Yeah, three game losing streak in there. Let's take a look at their roster. he turned out to be. Ryan Williams, what kind of year is he having? Not bad, not bad at all. Duke Johnson is hurt. So I don't got to deal with him. Wow, they gave him 98 speed, 99 acceleration, my goodness.
good interior line. Ah, uh, we get the guards. As far as run blocking goes. Alright, he's injured. Don't have to deal with him, thankfully. Anthony Chicolo. Still kicking around. Season 2. Didn't bolt for the league. out there. Uh, not a good run defender here, but a good pass rusher. How am I doing with these recruits? Got a lot of guys visiting. This guy's going to be a bit of a bulldozer at quarterback, if I can get him. Which I look like I will. I will. I'm way ahead. You know, looking in pretty good shape with these guys. Good corner prospect here. And, you know, these guys are all gettable. Except for maybe him. So who's visiting? These guys are visiting this week. He's visiting. He's visiting. He's visiting. As a C. We're in week eight. I think. Go, big game. I'm in the top five at number three. Miami has lost a couple of games in a row due to some injuries, but they're still very good.
everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you right, the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Take a peek at the message boards of both of these teams sometimes, and you'll find fans who say, why won't Coach get with the times? Can't we just have a little innovation in our offense? Not going to happen. Both of these guys are stubborn, and stubborn in a good way. They are committed to their philosophy that you have to run and run with toughness in order to win the game. So that's not going to change, no matter how many times some guy hopes they should change. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. stadium around but when the fans get it going here it's as raucous as they come football is on the way and now let's get down to the coin toss brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste and zero calories enjoy everything all right the u invades bobby dodd stadium up to kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway he really got a hold of that kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive All right, let's go He's taken down at the 37. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From their own 37 yard line, first down. If you can right, consistently run ripping off like this, it'll force 10 yard and 11 yard gain off the bat. The run, that ain't good. Creates chances in the play action passing game. Here's the give. Makes it to the 41. What is going uh, this on? This is defense? not good. I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their schemes. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down around the 35 yard line. Let's flip that. He's scrambling. He gets oh, that's better. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 38 yard line, third down.
He gets rid of this one. Awesome. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. You know what's a real oddity? Is what you saw right, right there. The CPU QB in NCAA 14 will throw the ball away. That wasn't an inaccurate pass. He threw that ball out of bounds because nothing was open. Or he didn't see anything open. And the smarter the QB, the, the more likely unit. they are to make that decision. Miami is looking to go up by three. The Madden 15 it's QBs, away. they're and fine until it comes time to decide whether to get rid of the ball or take a sack. Then they turn into raving idiots. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the pole. And for Boston College, they've dropped two straight. The Orange win it 14 0. In other games, Wake Forest taking the field in Winston Salem. The Tigers draw first blood through the air with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. All right, we hold them to three. He's to the 10. Looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 24 yard line. Lee's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy for your defensive coach. Yeah, you look at All right, this is going to be a pretty significant so test because so they have a good defense. Things. And today, they're going to try to put Athletic. pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Got some thumpers at backer. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And on a defensive line. So let's see what we got. That Lasky pops him there for seven. Well, yeah, that and the QB break sack. <laughs> yeah, you missed the self pass, John. It was only a four-yard game, but I had to run it just for you. Go Broderick's not it. Stop the 40 yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made that a very is a good beast. decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 42 yard line, first down. Wow. And he's taken down around the 42 yards. Get off of the defensive tackle there. Just ripped right on in. It's second and nine. Ball on the 42. He fights forward to about the 40. All right, third and eight is not where I want to be. actually caught something. These receivers, they drop so many passes. Like, I'm actually surprised when they catch one for me. This is the eighth play of this drive. Ah, 
Uh, I couldn't see far enough on the outside. I'd tell if it was man or zone right away. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 28. Ah, I wanted to pitch. Let me pitch, please. I wanted to pitch right there, but I just couldn't get the ball off. Tenth play of the drive. Alright, no sack here, please. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. Yeah, third and eight, third and eleven is not gonna be fun. They're gonna try a long field goal here. The kick is up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three, three times. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Gotta play with some focus and smarts. Right, let's here. go. They don't let's not let them mistake and suddenly find themselves trapped. run all the way down the field. <laughs> we did in this last drive. Yeah, Heisman, they're tempted to cheat already. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense because he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Second and 15. Ball on the 20-yard line. He's on the run. Dives for extra yardage. Well, looks like he has some scoops. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Oh, screen, screen, screen. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Ah. At the 45-yard line. I was like, man, my guy got picked up by a blocker. First and ten, ball on their own 45. Looks to the back. That was ugly. So when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Oh, but that's not exactly a clinic on how to throw bubble screens. <laughs> Rashad nearly had to hit behind a line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Oh, 
Ah, Philip Dorsett gets three. And down he goes at the 38. That makes it first and ten. Pressure does not quite get there fast enough. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Heading for the corner. He makes there it we go. to maybe the 36-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Uh, He's tackling the curl. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just All right, time nice to tighten up down here. First down. Wow, he stiffed him right in the head. This is the ninth play of this drive. He fights forwards about the 19. So at the end of one quarter, and this one's not an up at three. All right, so far this game's what I expected. This is not going to be a walkover. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. The Yellow Jackets had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He makes his way out to about the nine. That's a That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. There we go. It seems like I either stuff them behind the backfield or they're getting 10 yard runs. <laughs> I'd like to get a happy medium, please. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait All right, one to more. delay his reaction. And just got to be able to make a read, get up field as quickly that as That guy's going to be a stud my freaking nose tackle. He's only a sophomore. NFL. The more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Good job. There we go. That's Francis Callan again. I know. I was just talking about him. Sniffed that bad boy out and chased him down. I'm kind of happy not to be playing a spread no huddle team for once. Kicks up and it sails through the uprights. That was getting annoying. The CPU is just so hard to stop with that style of offense. Because they can move and make adjustments faster than you can get set no matter what you do. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 16 yard line. With 
one quarter down. I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Wow, they're fast. You see how fast they close that ground? Yeah, when they want to run through blocks, they will run through blocks. From their own 34-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice Mr. Lasky, I like Lasky. And putting up some numbers. And it's actually pretty darn difficult to get the fullback, you know, consistent, you know, efficient carries in this game. He's taken down at about the 47 yard line. Bad, however, is doing his thing. You can see there. That can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet, his arm. With this guy, it's TYP. This is season number two, Manu, and we are undefeated, ranked number three, four and zero, oh, or five and zero, oh, something like that. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Down, right uh, I just gotta cut that one up and get what I can get. I probably should have gave him the full back there. I had some space that so I saw. I could maybe pop him in there. Second and nine. Ball on the 47 yard line. Jeez. Rafael Kirby says no. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. All right, another third and long. I'm getting too many of these. He almost picked that. They really pounded him on that throw. Season one, I finished ten and three, second in the coastal, and won the Chick Fil A Bowl. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting All right, so far, this is a fight. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to throw more on first and second down, but it looks like things. You're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Miami holds a field goal lead. 
Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 36. That makes it first and 10. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Oh. And he's tackled right away. Fires quickly to the tight end. Well designed late, and it's late developing football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Alright, Ryan Williams is stepping for nine. We gotta get him out of that. Oh, come on, Lynn, catch that. Put you in the right spot and you boot the INT. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 41. Let's go. All right, we get him off the field at least. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got Mr. Onwalu on breaks it up. Barnes is the punter. Fielded at the 19. Tackle at the 26. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Basically the same as a handoff. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receivers. It's second and eight. Ball on the 28. That's what I need. I need guys outside who can break press and can catch the damn ball. Don't have those guys yet. up to Mike Linebacker Blitz and hitting his man for the first downs. From the 41 yard line. First down. Wow, Broderick's not, he's woken up. He's been kind of hibernating all season, hasn't done really that, all that much.
Jeez. They're doing some hitting. Three yards on that carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. That's a beast. A beast. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. All right. Needed that. I'm thinking I'm going to have to spread them out with um, flex bone, trips, and slot. Shotgun, split back, and pistol flex. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to take a look at the I don't think I can just line up in flex bone normal, flex bone close, we have got an and all -out move the ball. Look at Mariota and Hunley doing has the lead 20 to 17. And for Georgia Tech, wow, that's big news. If that score holds up and they win this game, it's going to be good news when the national polls come out. I love Georgia the presentation in this game. This one it's away. one of my favorite things about it. Probably my favorite thing about it. The presentation is really nice good. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far this week. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oh, don't let him just gash you like that, please. The 40. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play action pass. No, this is uh, I'm using their um default playbook. I didn't make any changes to it. What I'm thinking of doing down the road is maybe using New Mexico's um playbook. It's basically pistol triple option. He's gonna go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. All righty. get the sack. Well, we're headed to halftime. So we kind of cooled him off a little bit. We'll head to the locker room up 10-6. Georgia Tech leads 10-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced. David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side... Yeah, you know, actually someone roped me into um, <laughs> yard and score joining an online goal. dynasty again. So Notre Dame field. was available. Execute the plays that and and that's, that's what I'm running. I'm running the um, Auburn football. playbook. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monsters. We'll keep you up to Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Yeah, I haven't looked through New Mexico's playbook in a long time. I can do that. And it goes in I like, I like NI, NIU's. They have a good pistol um, option playbook. 
But right now, I want to move the ball here. And... We're about set to start things up again. Get some security in my life. Georgia Tech holds a four-point lead. Takes it up Let's go Lasky. Nice All right, so I'm getting the dive game going, the fullback some. I just can't get the under center triple option game going. So it's second down now. They need about four Unless yards I spread them out like this. He's tackled at the 39. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking for what I base from. I have no idea. I have to take a look at the formations again. I don't remember it very well. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. Lee gains around three yards on the option play. But yeah, this is going to be how it's going to have to work. So when I get into flex bone close and flex bone normal and tackle over and this stuff here, bad things seem to happen. I'm not going to run that yet. From their own 42 yard line. It's second down. Tackle made at the 48 yard line. Alright, let's go that. yard line. It's first down. Georgia Tech is up by four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The 43 yard line. It's second down. Oh, I thought I had more room in there than I did. It's still game three yards. You see how much harder it is for me to move them when I'm, you know, not spread out? That's a tough one. <laughs> what year are you in in that dynasty? Makes it ah, I'm going for it. Fourth and one, where am I at? On the 40? Yeah, I'm going for this. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Uh, and the over time, the CPU kicks your tail. That's what happens. He's gonna be short. Not gonna get it. Big stop by the defense. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The losing 28-27 with UNT against FSU is not a bad job at all. <laughs> This deficit can be easily overcome. Uh oh, Lasky's out. The bruised hand, you're out two quarters. Suck it up, you baby. Oh boy. That's called having way too much time to throw. Touchdown. 
White out here truly knows oh, he what got he it. has to do to contribute to make his team successful. No, that is not a touchdown. Trying to go up. Ah, I did it too late. No, maybe not. Where's the challenge? Yes. Three, they'll kick the extra point. So they're gonna send this one upstairs and try to determine exactly where they should spot the ball. So the coach wanted this challenge, and Kirk, I really don't understand this one. I gotta be honest, Brad. Um, I do. I'm not quite sure why the coach wanted to challenge this one because he doesn't really gain or lose anything by it. I don't know what Fowler and Herb Street are drinking up there, but that ain't a touchdown. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And the end zone touchdown. That's a touchdown. <laughs> Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. But a quarterback... Up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. Miami. Well, if you're only going to get one challenge, you might as well make it worth your while. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Let's fill up our set scores for the next play. Spun the wrong way. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back. Basketball game. You know what? Yeah, that's what I want. No, not, not that. I want dual halfbacks. There we go. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need. Gets out to around the 22. You're up 21 7 on the CPU on Heisman mode. You can guarantee yourself a comeback attempt of mammoth proportions by them. Short yardage situation here. the stop at the 35 yard line. I never noticed that before. Jumbo set out of that formation? They're about four yards away here on second down. Bad. He let go of that football. Yeah, he's gonna feel that. He didn't get drilled, he just threw the ball right into the ground. third 
down now, and they're going to need about four. Oh my and goodness. Situation. The offense really and I had blocking set up for days and days and days. Well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Kid, the return man. All right, here comes Team CPU. Steps out of bounds at the 26. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing next Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. God, Heisman CPU, they pick up every blitz. <laughs> Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Miami has a three point lead. Out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. All right, nice fat three and out here, please. There we go. Is that Francis Callan again blowing up another screen? Thankfully for me, he's not a scrambler. Barnes is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 35. All right, so I needed that one. It can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They bring him down. Crap. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Triangle is about to break, but I was too late. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receivers. All right, that possession did not go very well. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Signals for a fair catch. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Miami is up by three. Slings it. Tackle him, please. Thank goodness. Line. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Drop. Big drop. Try to pop a draw in there. Interesting. Sometimes when you think you've got no, a sir. Plays call, the defense just has the answer. Barnes awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. What am I doing? He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets to about the 34-yard line. All right, fourth quarter, tight game. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. Miami in front, 13-10. That was a big stop. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. He's taken down. There you go. The 47 yard line. Those are usually drops by them. Seven yard line. Run a little tackle down. over, see if we can get a little bit more muscle. There we go, that helped. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There's so many designed QB runs that are missing out of this offense. Easy, easy, easy. Ah, and he makes it ah, to the 44-yard line. Not options, but just straight QB keepers, like the Q, like um, QB counter, QB draw. Stuff like that. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Here we go. I mean, QB ISO is a, a great play, but you got to run it. You got to run it a lot. You're forced to run it a lot because you don't really have a QB between the tackles keep, which you should have. to the 38 yard line. Uh, that play also doubles as a fullback trap. It's 
It's second and seven. Ball on the 38. Big bubble over there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. All right. It's an exercise in patience. I'm sure a lot of you have seen Remember the Titans. It's like this Novocaine. It may take a while to set in, but it always works. I've been struggling moving the ball and getting a rhythm most of this game. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Oh, that was forked up. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here. That was blown up. Where am I on the field? That's a real boost for this team. Good defense by them on that. Yeah, I'm in the fringe of my kicker's range. I kind of got to go for it. So they're going to go for it here. And we'll get it. Tackle made at the 21. This is the 11th play of this drive. That was a bad mistake. You can't give up an interception late in the game. You got to be more careful with the football. First and ten. Ball on the forty-one. All right, D, got to step up again. Miami is up a field goal. Here we go. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled around the forty-eight yard line. Oh, 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 get it! Get it, yes! <laughs> what a break! Wow. Colorado State beat Bama 31 to 10 in your dynasty? <laughs> Weird things will happen sometimes. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. It. Ouch. Down he goes at the 46 yard line. No that makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. All right, how about how about I not screw this up? How about that? 
Yeah. See, that's what they usually do. They drop those. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Tough play, but, you know, I'd like for him to come down with it more often than not. <laughs> more often than he does, I should say. Yeah, what do I want to run here? I run this. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 36. Just over two minutes in the game. Now he's scrambling. There you go, Vad. Get free. Around the 37 yard line. Of course, I got to go for it. No, actually, I don't. What's my kicker's kick power, anyway? I haven't looked at that in a while. Ugh, this is not looking good already. 87? Nah. And this would be a, what, a, um, nah, he can't make this. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Vad, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That's gonna give him the lead. The Yellow Jackets sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run! What a big moment! Wow, what a break that was. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. And he converts the extra point. Attack the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end. I can run the run and shoot, Bondo, out of this playbook, ironically enough. I just don't have nearly the line and the receivers to do it as far as pass blocking go. Because most of the pass plays are run and shoot style pass well, plays. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. Just over a minute left. And here comes a super CPU no huddle. The stop at about the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down at the 41. And he throws right away. Oh, of course. Of course. Twin twin press breaks. Huge play for both the quarterback and the <sighs> quarterback. It all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. I mean, I covered one of them. Can't cover them all. He lets it go. The had it, End the game. It. <laughs> End it, please. From the 22-yard line, second down. You know, there's like, what, how many of them were there? Like four of them? He 
disciples it. This one will fall in complete. Oh, gosh. All right, they ran the old Seattle with the twin wheels. We covered it pretty well. Under a minute left in the game. Press break. I got to cover it. I'm forced to cover it, and that leaves that open, and he gets in. <sighs> All right, I got 36 seconds and three timeouts. Not impossible. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. Miami kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. Oh, go. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game and who's going to come oh, to the big front? time we'll overload there potentially fires that quickly to the tailback all right let's go let's go let's go going to use their first time out of the half here. <laughs> but what I can do is go flex bone four wide and all of a sudden I have more speed to run stuff like switch canceling out the play action. It's second down. Quick throw, and he's tackled around the 43-yard line. The Yellow Jackets are going to call their <sighs> time. Now, what to run here? That is the question. I'm not running play action here. You're on drugs. Four yards away here on third down. Yep. It's time to go into run and shoot mode. <laughs> no doubt about that. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap. And we're going to back up five more yards. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Easy, 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 easy. Step, step. Here we go. Well, step, buddy. Oh, are you, that is typical. That's called, we're just not going to let you win this game. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Well, we got Heisman in that one. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes an ease. Yeah. 
So there goes undefeated. At least Oregon lost or was losing. So maybe I'll stay in the top five. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Hurst Street, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. That's a bitter one. <laughs> no, I don't think Ball State's going to win a national title again. I think that was one of those not going to happen again anomalies. Terrible game passing. Terrible. Outside of that, I couldn't really run it that well. These two always play well. They're, they're my two best players, really, as far as my front seven guys go. So Heisman took the opportunity for at least a game tying field goal from me. Sinjin Days drops the ball and it gets scooped up off of that for an INT. That is unfortunate. I'm going to play the UNC game. I can't have my session end.